What's up everybody? Today we're going to be making Thomas the Tank Engine cake. My name is Lurie and you're watching The Icing Artist. Because this mountain is going to be cake, I'm going to start off with a winter mold, which is basically like a big domey cone shape thing. I'm going to cut it in half and layer some delicious buttercream right there in the middle of it. To make our tunnel that is going to go through our mountain, it's not going to go all the way through, but it's going to look like it is. I cut out like a little arc using a knife and then I kind of spooned out some of the cake to kind of dig it out into like a little bit of a tunnel. You would think that the cake might collapse into the tunnel, but it doesn't. It actually kind of held its shape. Now because this looks nothing like a mountain, no mountain looks so perfect and dumb like we are going to need to use our knife and kind of carve out little bits of this cake so that way it looks more like an actual mountain. You want it to look very random and sporadic because no mountain is like perfectly shaped on, on every side. Now it's time to crumb coat our mountain and lock in all of those nice crumbs so that way they don't come out in our finished layer of icing. Even though it's a mountain, it's gonna look rough. We don't need it to look like a crummy mountain. Oh, that's not even funny. <laughs> and then I'm gonna ice the inside of that tunnel so that way it looks like just the tunnel going all the way through the mountain. Only you and I will know the difference. Just like we don't want our mountain to be a perfect cone shape, guys, we don't want it to be one shade of gray. It's just gonna look like a big gray blob. So I decided to do three different colors of gray. I was surprised how well this actually looked and made it look like a rock. But I just kind of blobbed on the three different shades going all the way around the mountain just so they were kind of randomly blobs. So don't make them dots. You don't want them to be all looking the same. And of course, for all the recipes that I'm using in this video, I will leave a link right here for you guys. All right, now is time for the magic. So I'm gonna go in with my offset spatula and literally spatula it and just kind of smooth it out roughly, but you're not actually smoothing all the colors together because otherwise they're gonna look too blended. You wanna roughly mix them. I'm just gonna use a piece of paper towel. You guys can also use parchment paper if you'd like. I'm just gonna roughly smooth this out. You know, again, you don't want it to be perfectly smooth. It's a mountain, I know we've been over this, so it's supposed to look rough. Now it is actually time for the best part of this cake. It is the most fun because you guys can go nuts with this and be so over the top creative. I'm gonna start off by adding my grass all over my cake board, except where I want the river to go. So we are going to ice it in white. Yes, we're icing it in white. No, that's not gonna be the color of the river. I'm aware that rivers are not supposed to be white, but we're going to be doing a really cool technique that's gonna go right on top of it that really makes it look like water. We are going to be taking some clear piping gel, also known as like piping jelly or gel paste, a couple different names for it. I'm going to dye it blue, and then I'm going to lightly brush that over top of my buttercream. Because the blue in the gel paste is like transparent, you can kind of see the white underneath instead of seeing the silver cake board, but it just gives the water like this depth. And of course, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. We just hit 200,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. And we'd love for you guys to help us reach 300,000. And of course, like we put out new videos every single week, so why not? Now I'm going to use my train to actually mark out where I want the tracks to go. You guys can either do this with a brand new train or if you guys have a train already at home, make sure you guys disinfect it because you know, food, toys, germs, cleaning things is always good. Now I piped on my braille board rail. If you just hover your bag kind of over your cake, you can just drop the line on the other line that you have marked out. And that will give you one continual rail or piping line depending on what you're doing. To give this cake more scenery, I'm going to make some ice cream cone trees. So for this, I'm just using obviously an ice cream cone. And you don't want to use those flat, those flat cones. You want to make sure that they're actually the cone cones. We've been over this. I'm not sure where the flat things are, but they are definitely not cones. I'm going to use a star tip and just start at the bottom and kind of pipe going all the way up the tree. Once you get to the point that you can no longer hold your tree without getting icing all over your hands, you just want to place that right on your cake board and then finish your tree off. You can use some more of your gray buttercream and pipe on some rocks. You can even pipe on a little bit of grass. Go nuts, guys. Be super creative with this. There are a couple things I love about this cake. For one, how easy it is and how fun it is. For two, like how creative you can get and making this cake your own. I feel like Thomas is one of those characters that is just always popular. I know my brother used to love Thomas growing up and now my nephew is absolutely obsessed with it. I've been planning to make a Thomas cake for so long so I'm glad I finally got a chance to. 
And of course, before you guys go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's right here and subscribe. If you guys want to see more of my videos, I will leave some links right here for you guys to check them out. And come back again next week because we will be making something else into cake. Bye, guys.